nope, had to go fishing. Like, what is this? Hey everyone, so welcome to another episode of Fishing Rod. It's mid-May and uh, we're spending a few days here at Salmon Lake Resort. We're roughly around two and a half hours to three hours drive from Vancouver. This is one of my favorite lakes to come to fish during the springtime because the fishing is usually pretty good. The trail fishing is usually pretty good. I've been here with my family before in the past and uh, which we've always had it. But very enjoyable time. You can rent a cabin like these ones behind me or you can bring your RV to the to the campground and camp for the week or and just spend a few days at the lake and enjoy the fishing. Today we got out there around 8 o'clock in the morning and we fished with a few friends of ours. We were fishing five feet of water. Uh, I, got, I got into quite a few fish right from the beginning um, but they were all pretty small. Most of the fish were pretty small. The biggest one I got was 18 inches long which I kept um, and we're gonna eat that tonight. Um, but we did see some of our friends got into some much bigger fish. 20 inches, 22 inches, the biggest one uh, Terry got was 24 inches long, uh, which is a really, really nice fish. So the bites happened between 10 and 10 o'clock in the morning until about 1 o'clock in the afternoon today. And uh, after that, we came back in for a break, came back to the cabin for a break and had lunch and uh, warmed up a little, bit, a little bit because it was pretty windy. Got out to the lake again around 3 o'clock in the afternoon and right away Kitty got into quite a few smaller fish. And the bite kind of came on and off. Eventually, she actually got into a much bigger fish around six o'clock in the afternoon, um, about an hour ago, and uh, that fish actually fought for quite a while. This one's actually decent. I know. My heart's pounding. Well, that's the one I missed. Unfortunately, that fish actually came off the line um, because the, the drag of the reel wasn't set properly, which is kind of disappointing because that fish was actually pretty nice, about three to four pound large. So, it's um, the end of the day. It's pretty calm right now. It's still pretty sunny. Hopefully, we have a pretty good day tomorrow. Just getting the firewood ready right now. We're gonna, we're gonna get warm inside the cabin, get a fire going. We're gonna get dinner ready. I'm gonna cook the fish that I caught today because these rainbow trout are actually pretty delicious and uh, yeah and tomorrow we're gonna have a pretty early start again and let's see how we do hope we get into some of the bigger rainbow trout that we saw today morning it's day two uh, it's actually the weather is actually pretty nice it's overcast and not too sunny and not very windy it's very important and let's see what we can do today Yesterday, around this time, the boats around this bay were, were catching, um, I would say, quite a few fish. It was pretty persistent. You'd see one boat hook up, a couple minutes later another boat would hook up, lose one, another boat would hook up, Rob would get one. And today, I guess everyone had the same idea and we parked in pretty much the exact same places except for us. I have a new boat that joined us today and then another one right behind. But I think the fish are laughing at us right now because they are not currently showing themselves. Either we have to be patient or we have to be patient. I don't know what the answer is. It's all a part of fishing, right? Sometimes the fish are a little bit smarter 
than we would like them to be. Well, today actually didn't go as planned because uh, when we went out, the weather was actually pretty good. Um, but then as the day went on, it just um, the weather got worse throughout the day. The, I guess we have a system coming through. Um, there's a few storms rolling through. And uh, it started raining, started hailing, and it got really cold and windy. And we decided to come back and uh, take a lunch break while waiting for the system to go through. Um, right now, it actually looks okay. Uh, the fishing has been great just because pressure dropped, um, the fish stopped feeding, we didn't see much insects um, hatching as, as well. But um, hopefully this afternoon, fingers crossed, um, if the weather turns around a little bit and maybe we can get into a couple of fish, who knows. Well, there is a big hatch right now, or it looks like it. I just showed the other camera all these bugs. We had our break, and we're trying again. Why is it fighting so hard? How big is it? I don't think it's very big. Finally getting a couple of fish. This fish actually fought a lot harder than, than this size. It's actually not very big. Just show it to you guys. Maybe just a little pound large. Yeah, pretty long, just kind of skinny. We're gonna pump this fish and see what's in the stomach. Um, the lake's been pretty moody all day, so we don't know what these fish are eating. Oh, they're tiny. They're puny, hey? Yeah. Mine's way too big. Finally, some results. Fish were about an hour and a half now, after we had a lunch break. Yeah, had the odd bites here and there, and a white massive rainstorm that went by, and uh, that kind of really wanted to make, well, made us really want to go home, and but we stuck around and finally got another fish. Feisty, these little things. Ooh. And seeing how with how many of these, there are swimming around the water, moving, hatching. They grab the one that's my fly. Douglas Lake Ranch fishing on Salmon Lake uh, but Rod and I aren't fishing today the weather has been too unpredictable for words we have experienced um, instance hailstorms lightning flash rain like flash rain flooding yeah. little bits of Sun and it's the weather is just too unpredictable to fish right now yeah well after yesterday we had a pretty challenging day and we thought this morning we would go out for three hours before we leave and we came out from the cabin and I thought no, it's, it's freezing. I don't want to go out again this morning. It is and, just too um, cold. I, I, we didn't think the fishing was going to turn around um, today just based on the weather condition, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing with fishing in interior BC in springtime. Um, the weather can be very unpredictable. It can be sunny, it can be rainy, it can be cold, it can be snowy. Um, you can have everything one day. <laughs> and that's what we had this weekend. Right? Every single yeah. day. So on the first day when we came here, um, we did see other people catching pretty big fish. And that's how um, fishing at Salmon Lake is, usually is in mid-May. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here before several times. And we've had you know, 40, 50 fish days and fish up to 20 inches, 22 inches long. And that's what I told you, right? I promised big fish, but that promise fell through. 
<laughs> well, you did, you did promise bigger fish, and we did see some people catching big fish. And when we anchored up beside them uh, at the beginning of a couple days ago, I thought, okay, like if they're catching fish, I can do it. Yeah. I've caught, we've caught fish at lakes before. We've chronomid fished. This should be a piece of cake. But then when we didn't catch fish and they kept, it wasn't too many. It was yeah. it was one it was every one, once in a while. Yeah. It was yeah. and, pretty consistent. Yeah. And they were nice for a harder fish, day. Right? Yeah. But then after talking to one of the one of the gentlemen, he said that he actually spends almost one third of his year at Salmon Lake. And so then I thought, okay, Kitty, I have to cut yourself a little bit of slack because these people, they know every inch of this water. Mm -hmm. And that is one thing that's really important when lake fishing, not just at Salmon Lake, but other lakes, uh, to put in a, quite a bit of time. Yeah. Because you need, to, lakes aren't easy. You can't yeah. just go out to any spot, yeah. drop anchor and expect to catch yeah. fish. You need yeah. to put time in. And one challenge that for this weekend is that the, the fishing condition is very different to previous years. Previously, we've always fished in deep water, and with this weekend, um, all the fish were in shallow water, in five feet of water. Five feet or less. And we were fishing two feet at yeah, some point. Exactly, yeah. So we, it took a while for us to figure out what's going on. But by the time we figure out what's going on, um, yesterday, <laughs> the weather turned. So the weather turned worse. So the, the system came through, and it, it got really cold. The fishing died off. Um, so we really struggled yesterday, um, except for the very brief moment in the evening time when we got into, got into a few smaller fish and we were able to pump the fish and saw what they were eating and uh, put on the right fly and yeah. got into a few more fish, but we didn't get into, in, into any bigger ones, except that big one you lost on the first day. And I just was, I wasn't in the right mindset. I it was cold, right? It yeah. was cold. I don't want to put, give excuses. Yeah. I, my drag was too loose yeah. and I didn't fight it properly. Yeah. Yeah. It was so cold that we couldn't hold our fly ropes properly. That's how. Well, you guys saw how red my hands were. Did you see how red my hands were? Yeah. All the the blood was yeah. trying to pool in my hands to yeah. warm them up. Anyway, so like I said, salmon lake can be pretty good if the weather is nice. Um, if you come here between mid-May and the end of June, the fishing can be um, pretty consistent once the weather settles down. Um, we, we mentioned earlier, some people come here, they'll spend a whole month here. Um, for us, we come here for a few days, it's a nice getaway. But other people, they would like to come here and station here with a camper, they'll stay here for the whole month. And um, they can fish Salmon Lake, they, they can fish other nearby trophy lakes as well. Um, it's a really nice place to be um, if you really want to get into still water angling, right? It's getting cold, Rod. <laughs> and it's shivering, it's getting cold. We're gonna go home. We get, Actually, we're gonna go inside the cabin, warm up a little bit, then we're gonna go home. So be sure to follow us on Instagram and check out the updates and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll leave the website for Sam Lake Resort on the bottom for you guys to check out. Until next time, good luck fishing. Lots of luck. <laughs>